Santa goes what? Near around town. This is the chorus. Keep those rocks, rocks, rocks in the ground. If there ain't nobody here, he won't settle ground. Keep the rocks, rocks, rocks in the ground. Don't want to hear no side of town. Don't want to hear no side of town. 60 kilometers and 20 miles from Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz, Lee Brennan and Bob Abbott here, wherever they may be today, because they're certainly not here with members of their community. We don't want quarries through that road. 100, 200, 100, one way, 100 back again. Round that roundabout right past here. We're not having it, okay? <laughs> we don't want the quarry in Kingpins, but it's a home among the gum trees. A quarry in Kim Kim. A quarry in Kim Kim. A quarry in Kim Kim. No! One million tons of rock out of that quarry every year. And what that means for all the residents of Pomona is that Nielsen's now have the authority to run 100 plus trucks every day. That's one truck every five minutes, potentially through the street just to my right. 100 trucks, one truck every five minutes. If that's not going to trash your town, if that is not going to trash your property values, it has already lowered the real estate value in this part of the world. But there's much more involved than just real estate. This whole community, this whole region, is part of an incredibly important tourism business for the Sunshine Coast and for Queensland. We're not just talking about beaches, we're talking about a total experience that this, this valley, this region, this hinterland is a critical part of. If we allow, if we allow this quarry, if we don't stop this quarry, if we don't find a way to get the politicians and the councillors to listen to what we are saying, you can effectively say goodbye to what is the most important economic foundation of this part of the world. Everybody here knows how important tourism is. Anna Bly has actually said the future of this place is about bed and breakfast, about peace and serenity. And yet Anna Bly is supporting a plan which is enabling one million tonnes of rock to be taken out of that quarry, transported on these roads every single day, 100 trucks, one every five minutes. I'm urging and pleading with all of you to become as angry as I am as a new, as a new resident, and particularly those of you who have lived here all your lives and understand what this place means to you. Get out there and let's tell the politicians, let's tell the councillors that we demand more transparency, that we demand to be included, to be involved in any discussions, any plans that go forward. Sign the petition, show the council, show the state that we are determined to stop that quarry. I don't have any personal fight with the owner of the property. In fact, I think the owner of the property probably deserves compensation from the state government. But we do not deserve 100 trucks, one truck every five minutes, trashing the environment, trashing this community. Because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Come to Kim Kim. No quarry, no way. 
No mega quarry, no deposit cave, no quarry, no way. No mega quarry, no deposit cave, no quarry, no way. No mega quarry, no deposit cave, no quarry, no way. Yeah.